about being healthy though, right? That's like what we're all trying to do. We're all trying to be healthy. I am, I am not healthy. I'm the most unhealthy human being I know. Uh, guys, I had ice cream for breakfast this morning. It was shrub. Thank you. There's two other people that are going to die before Sunday. <laughs> I get it. Most of you hate me because I said I eat ice cream and look this fabulous all the time. <laughs> Like most people, like I have one cup of ice cream and I gotta go to the gym for the rest of the week. Guys, I eat a bowl of ice cream and I lose that weight walking down the steps to get another <laughs> bowl of ice cream. <laughs> you the problem in my life right now? I've been the same weight since I was 16 years old, which is that of a 16-year-old girl. You understand? <laughs> Everybody comes up to me and they go, Oh my God, it must be so nice being skinny. Yeah, it's amazing worrying if there's a gust outside to blow me over. <laughs> No one feels bad for skinny people. No one feels bad for skinny people. Like every fat guy I've ever met has all the sympathy in the world. He's like, oh my god, he's fat, he can't control his weight, it's a glandular problem. Everybody hug him and get him a sandwich. Get him a sandwich, his blood sugar is low! No one does that for me, right? No one looks at me and goes, I bet for only 10 cents a day we could probably help him out. <laughs> look at me and say, put him in the corner, no one make eye contact with him, maybe he'll grow fat on our hate. <laughs> not healthy. I don't have health insurance, uh, but I do have WebMD on my phone. So, you know, <laughs> which, can we all agree, as a society, worst invention we've come up with. Like, we could come up with anything and that's what we still got. You don't have, like, you don't have to be a hypochondriac, but the fact that WebMD is present anywhere near you makes you self-diagnose yourself with the worst things imaginable, right? <laughs> like, I dropped a pen, and I was like, well, that's a symptom of something. <laughs> so I consulted WebMD, and my top choices uh, were car arthritis, carpal tunnel, Wilson's disease, <laughs> Huntington's disease, <laughs> Parkinson's, uh, or just a case of the dropsies. <laughs> so immediately my head goes to, I have Wilson's disease, which if you don't know what that is, that's when copper gets stored in your spinal cord, and then you lose muscle function and die. That's what I thought I had, because I dropped a pen, everybody, okay? Freaked out, I called my mom, I was like, I love you, I know I've been said that in 20 years. <laughs> I calmed down though, I was like, Chris, you don't have Wilson's disease, but you definitely have Huntington's disease. I've never been to Huntington's, West Virginia, but those people don't have teeth. Am I going to lose my teeth? I just got my braces off. This isn't fair. <laughs> I know I don't have Parkinson's because I parked my car outside. <laughs> so to call myself Tone, I just clicked on Case of the Dropsies and the phone just said, you're an idiot. <laughs>